Hello. I'd like to share a scrapbook journal that I made. Um, this is a little bit unique because it's bound with wire. I use a Zutter binding machine to do that and I really really like the way I'm able to inset the pages on this. Um, I've tied a lot of ribbons and fibers just for texture and detail and this is a recycled kind of an old style luggage tag that I just cleaned it up and added some paper inside that says believe and some rhinestones to it and I think it just goes real pretty with this fall journal. Um, I've added a leaf here that's got a lot of glitter, a piece of burlap, and the cover front and back is made of a thin layer of cardboard and it's covered with paper and reinforced along the binding edge. I just love fall. I, I just can't, almost can't stop making these and I understand the interest in journaling but unfortunately I don't have that skill so I consider this somewhat of a visual journal where I like to just add as many images that re remind me of fall, anything that I can add to it. Um, I've got some die cut leaves added here, some pictures that were printed out and glued on. This is does have some coffee stained paper throughout and I've created some pockets with some lace trim, a silk flower, some handmade tags. And you can write on the back of these if you want or substitute these tags out and add maybe some fall photos or things of your own in here. And you can write here, it spritzed a little bit of glimmer mist on the paper to give it just a little bit of shine, but tried to stay with the fall colors. Same thing here, attached an image to a pocket, junk journal style, a little bit of index cards, this was printed out. That's a picture of a Luna moth that I took and I overlaid it in Photoshop for a neat layered effect there. Another tuck spot here. This was fun. This is paint chips that I added a border, glued it to a, another piece of paper, added a border, added some stamping and some cutouts and made a bookmark out of it. This is journaling paper with a little bit of lace sewn to the top and I like this. This is um, regular school lined paper but it's done in a brown tone so I thought that was really appropriate for autumn. Another pocket, actually two pockets made from an old book page. There's my standard mason jar that you can write on the back. And behind the page is another pocket and I've got this layered tag which you can write on on the back. A little stamping, some more stamping and some washi tape. Another pocket. This was a greeting card that I cut down and made the pocket out of. A shipping tag that just happened to be in autumn red. More printed paper. This flips up. You could write or add a little picture there. Silk leaf added. Journaling spaces if you want them. More autumn colors. This flips out. A little bit of stamping. Added some journaling space here with some stamping details, some leaves. This is a die cut with an embossing added to it, a little bit of texture on the pumpkin, and this is a journaling space. More space for writing. Love this paper. Wish I had a ton of it. That's the only piece of that that I had. I love this page too. This is a flip up. It can hide your writing. 
stamping here a little piece of eyelet and this is a detailed piece cut from I guess a dresser scarf that I found in the Salvation Army store. It was in bad shape but I managed to salvage a little bit of it there for some texture. More writing space. This image was printed on transparent paper so you can see the shading from the paper underneath. A little bit of journaling space here. A pocket turned sideways. Staying with those autumn colors and autumn images. This is a picture of a butterfly that I took and I used Photoshop to put that on a piece of paper and print it out, print it on coffee dyed paper. Delight in the little things. Another greeting card with a fall theme. This was actually a manila envelope that was cut down and made into a pocket. There's two layers of pockets here. This is a greeting card that opens up. And this is a card as well, so plenty of space to write if you enjoy that. A paper doily added. A little bit of stitching around the edges, maybe hard to see, it's white on white. And another die cut leaf, and this is actually cut from the side of an empty tissue box. I just thought that was too pretty to pass up, so a little bit of upcycling there. And this pretty paper clip with some fibers attached holds a parchment style envelope that has a little bit of a sunburst or sunflower design on it. And it holds, I love the design, it carries through clear to the inside of the envelope. And this is another greeting card. And again, I like to find those greeting cards at uh, secondhand stores when I can. It's fun. They're fun to sift through and sort through and decide what you want and what you can use. And again, there's this bird image. I took a picture of this bird last year. This bird spent about three days trying to get in my front window before it decided better of it. But I got some nice pictures and used Photoshop to incorporate some text in there and print that out on coffee dye paper. And this is an envelope with another paper clip attached and it holds some more writing space and this is, has stitching on the image. Open that up. You've got plenty of writing space. You can add your own photos here. Same thing here. Some secondhand store lace that I added and sewed on there and did some punch work along the edges. Another greeting card that had some embossed texture to it and it had a birthday sentiment at the top so I did some stamping on another sheet of paper and cut that out and attached that. Another pocket. Love this image. Got that off of Pinterest and this little book that fits in the pocket. Autumn Blessings, a little bit of coffee dye paper for writing space inside. Fits right inside there. It's stitched up the middle. Some more of these die cut leaves. And I used book pages. Die cut those, colored them with coloring pencil, and then added some fine line marker detail to it. And I really liked those. more greeting card material, some fall stickers, washi tape, did some sewing here, just added a strip of paper for some color variety, some interest. This tuck spot, I love this image, again this was from Pinterest. It holds a journaling tag inside this little mini paper bag and this is actually a piece of vintage lace that I got at a second hand store, a damaged doily and I managed to save some of that and this is 
a shaker card. It's got a little bit of not actually confetti, but yeah, it's confetti and it's sewn on under plastic. You could write on the back and this opens up for journaling. Some stamping. I love that brown paper. There's a lot of it in here. Another paper clip. Flip this over and it is holding another greeting card where you can write. I love this card. Had that quite a while before I decided just the right place to use it, but that's definitely fall colors. A tuck spot here with a little bit of fabric and fibers. More fall colors. Tuck spot here. Love that paper. Wish I had some more of that. And again, that's the only piece of that that I had. This was a die cut. Come on, hands. And this is a journaling spot. Tucks in there. And this was something new that I tried. This is a plastic school folder that I reinforced and sewed along the edges. Left the tab there, you could insert something, personalize that if you want. It's a double pocket. The front side has this journaling spot in it with a little bit of stitching. Some more of those fall leaf stickers. And if you flip this over, there's a second pocket to the back. So I added some matching stickers on opposite sides and then made this journaling space. So this is going to go back in here. Another paper clip. Flip it over. This is sewn, a little bit of fabric, an old book page, a die cut leaf. You can write on the inside. And the nice thing about the paper clip items, you can reposition those anywhere in the book that you'd like. And this is a strip of one of the cards that was in here earlier. I decided not to waste that and added it there for an accent. More writing space, strip of paper sewn in. I like this tuck spot too. I've got a piece of paper with a piece of that old lace, a die cut leaf, coffee stained paper, coffee stained paper stitched, and the back pocket. This is one of my photos. This is from an area down near Canaan Valley near Black Water Falls, West Virginia, and I printed this out on a type of canvas that will go through a home printer. So I really like the texture on that. And this pocket has another greeting card and I've added the word words life is art, paint your dreams, a little bit of stamping. That goes back in here and the back page has a little bit of raised three-dimensional blocks here that have leaves on it. I just love these fall colors here. Again, this is a thin type of cardboard that is covered with paper. And if you're interested in purchasing this journal, please take a look at my Etsy shop. It's any time of year is a good time to pick one of these journals up. They make great gifts, and if you're like me, I have a hard time giving them away. I just enjoy having them around, and it makes me smile to look at them. So enjoy. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.